Well, good morning. Welcome down to Windy Hill Kennel again. We are back down. We're trying this this morning. I really didn't want to get on the floor this morning. And this is our only litter we're doing today that is a little bit older, but they're still very much baby. This one's growling. He's not happy at all with this situation. Um, this is Cinder's litter. I know. Oh, you're chirping now. Uh, these guys are sold. They're on the sold page of the website. And they're doing really, really good. Uh, they're just... There we go. Here, They sound like baby chip or baby uh, raccoons. <laughs> so this is our litter of raccoons. Um, so everybody in here is starting to toddle around. They're a little bit scared this morning, which is fine with me because they sit still. Um, in the kennel, they toddle around. They're not doing a whole lot yet. Cinder really babies or kids. Oh, okay. Get over it. Come on. <laughs> So we're going to give you microchips. Uh, we're going to give you some good face shots. I hope you enjoyed their new pictures I put on last night. Um, we're trying to get everybody caught back up this week. Last week was such a horrendously busy week. We had three litters of puppies born. And um, we had, I don't know, somewhere between 16 and 19 pickups. So we had people here from all over the country. And... Uh, it was a super busy week, so I just did not get a chance to do anything else and hardly got a chance to even, I think we ate out more than we did in, but normally it was a pizza or crackers and cheese and some salami. It was just not a good week. So we're playing catch up this week. So we're gonna start down here on the end. I know, she says, don't pick me up. I know, I know, I know. This is a female and she is going to stay white. She's got, a little bit of blue merle on her backside under the, all this hair. They have tons of hair. I know it. Cute face. I love the tri markings on the face. She's got the brown eyebrows going on and brown on the cheeks, and you're still growling. And I know it, they're all different in here. I don't think I need to give you a microchip number. I mean, everybody knows their puppy by this point. So, um, come on, beep. Something new we're starting, so I'm gonna try and remember to tell everybody, and I forgot on some of the videos yesterday. If you have questions you would like answered before you get here, if you wanna text me and you know, let me know what you're curious about, um, stick your first name on the text, I'll give you a shout out, let you know, um, see if we can answer your questions for you, and then that'll help a little bit. We also will probably be sending out your videos in the next week or so. Uh, I'm trying to get them all out early for everybody. So you're going to get uh, an email that's got about seven or eight videos on it. Oh, I know. Give it up. And uh, it will tell you everything I'm going to tell you when you come. It's actually me sitting at the kitchen counter telling you all about your pickup list, your booklet, all the pamphlets in it, and everything that I would throw at you when you come. That way, if you watch that beforehand, it cuts our time here down much more, and we don't, with this COVID thing going on, we're actually not doing as much here. I'm not doing tours because my buildings, as the dogs move in for the winter, are, are close quarters inside. Um, so I'm really not, we're just doing what we call our COVID pickup, which is the puppy will be ready for you when you come. Everything will be on the table. We'll be glad to spend, you know, I sit about eight foot from you. And um, that way I don't have to touch anything you're doing and I don't have to worry about you and you don't have to worry about me. But be assured if someone here is not well, they will not be here. Uh, we've been really good about that. And so far, knock on wood, all of our employees have been healthy all throughout the whole year, including last spring. So we're all doing good. I think Brittany's got a little bit of a sinus thing going on, but other than that, we're all good. So are you ready to get weighed? It's cold and it shut off. Okay, let's turn it back on. I, have, I wish it would just stay on when I turn it on, but it's not. It's impatient. It shuts off. All right, you ready? Here we go. It's oh, You're not going to be as bad as babies. One pound, 14.2 ounces. She said, this is scary up here. This is scary up here. I know, you're a good baby. I love these faces. Now you're done growling. I'm going to pick you up and make you growl. Yeah, now we're going to pick you up. I'm going to mess your world up. You are all comfy. Yeah. So 
this is the chocolate merle it's got really really pretty face really pretty coat vanessa shaved their faces so they've got their faces scooped out and they're just they're really doing super good um about another week and they will be up and running and i know it i know it you're a good baby what do you think i don't i can't tell about eyes yet they're still really baby blue which is normal for all babies i know i hear you she's chirping again all right he's chirping i should say uh one pound 15 ounces well, those two are pretty much close right on right on the button with each other. I know you're just grumbling, grumbling. I was going to show you also coat on these guys. He's got really nice coat coming. I know it. They'll probably get another bath this week sometime. And this one is the little try. This one's a female. Love the coloring. I don't know. There's something about a try. Merle's are my favorite colors, but I love these try puppies. Oh, they're just beautiful. It's a beautiful... Yeah, you're beautiful. Love the faces. Where are you going? It says, I'm leaving the property. Very slowly, but I'm leaving the property. She's sneaking out thinking we don't see her moving. She says, this looks like a good spot. They bury their faces a lot. They're a lot more comfortable when they don't see what's going on. <laughs> like all of us right now. All right, let's see. Except I don't want to bury my head in this situation. One pound, 11.4. Oh, scoop you back up. Oh, 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 you're not falling. You're not falling. I promise you're not falling. No, I promise you're not falling. All right, let's set you over here. Let's pull up this one. Oh, this one says, I am seeping. I am seeping. I was trying to stick my hand under without waking him up, but I think I did. See, I woke you up, didn't I, sweetie? She is really, her phantom's starting to really come out. She's really starting to get really cute. Phantoms in, I really miss Anna. Anna used to have all phantom litters for us and we lost that when we had to retire Anna. So coats are great. Everybody's got great coats. Soft and shiny and slick. All right, she's got like a baby alligator. We got coons and alligators on the table. Uh, one pound 14 too. Boy, they're all really much right in the same boat. It's, oh, it's okay. It'll be okay. Shh. You'll be all right. Yeah, there you go. You're better. You're better. All right, I'm going to move you over here. Spin you around. I'm going to turn you around. Ready? One, two, three, flip. There you go. All right, this is the bruiser of the bunch. See, this one is the bruiser of the bunch. They are... Uh, this one is, you're like this little groundhog. He's got really, really, just really lush coat, really soft. I know, now you're grunting. Okay. Shh. <laughs> I give up. You guys are all doing it. He's really hard to get his eyes to show up on uh, videos. And uh, they're all going to sing now. Are you singing? Oh, he says, put me down. Let me see what you weigh. Um, two pounds, nine ounces. Yeah, you're the bruiser. Um, these guys turn three weeks on Monday. Oh, it's okay. Be all right. Shh. Cover your eyes up. There you go. Eyes are a big thing with babies. Cover those eyes up when they settle down. You guys are trying to worm in under my hand. Um... Actually, there's really nothing new yet. Um, they're going to get their four-week shot on Monday next week. Um, they've had their second, uh, their first worming at two weeks old. They'll get their second week, second worming at four weeks old. And, um, shh. Goodness, Kate. But uh, other than that, um, toenails will get done again. I know I picked up somebody, somebody in here. I found it sharp and on. Not always, but sometimes they grow like crazy because of all the protein in the mom's milk. Um, dry food is really not much on their diet right now. They're nibbling a little bit at it, but not much. Um, they'll still nurse. This week they'll start nibbling, though. Usually that week of the third week they do start eating um, dry dog food. 
and shh, you're fine, you're fine, you're fine. I know, don't touch it. There you go. Okay. So if you have questions about this litter, you're more than welcome to give me a call. And if you have um, a date in mind you want to pick up, you're more than welcome to um, give me a call and I'll be glad to get you booked in for pickup. So um, that's the other thing uh, with COVID right now. Uh, times are much shorter that people are here, which I hate. I really enjoy it when we could have a regular old fashioned pickup and not this stupid COVID stuff. But uh, I am scheduling everybody on the hour. So you're not really limited to, you know, we can do everybody in a day. Um, you don't have to worry about, you can pretty much get any time you want. I just don't do Sundays right now. So um, give me a call if you have any questions. I hope you enjoyed their video. Next week, we're on the floor. It's gonna be called On the Floor with Cinders. And uh, they should be up and motivating and starting to toddle around. Uh, personalities should start to come out. Right now, they're just scared little people. And uh, the whole world's a whole new thing to them because they just got their eyes open not too long ago. Nope, shouldn't move, just should I? All right, have a good one, and we'll talk to you later.